Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, let's have a look at the bootleggers Android 10 room for the LG V30. So it has the latest Android security patch level as of now. And the performance and battery life have been pretty great. I have been using Hama kernel with this particular room. And these are the quick tiles and quick tile options as you can see here. And there are quite a few options here. You can adjust the number of rows columns that kind of stuff so you can see it for yourself this room also has the smart pixels feature as you just saw and let's move on under the display and sound section there are some additional features like the hi-fi quad DAC and the sound options and let's move on further okay so let's open up the accessibility settings here and as you can see here there are some vibration options here so you can set that to high medium or low and it works quite well so you can adjust the vibration intensity this is the stage bar setting settings as you can see here so you have network traffic indications battery styles that kind of stuff and here you have the quick settings so i'll just quickly go through the setting options here you can have a look at them and see for yourself because they are quite self-explanatory and you also have the weather settings option here and if you enable that you can also set a quick tile for the weather service which will show you the weather for your particular location and this feature is quite handy and i enjoyed it as you can see here the weather icon is right there and you have several features Pulse ambient display on new song, pocket detection, fingerprint unlock after reboot instead of only password. You have hardware options. And as for the bugs, I'll be leaving a, down, a link down in the description below about the common bugs that you generally see in Android 10 rooms. I haven't faced any additional bugs outside that list here. And do turn off Wi-Fi scanning under location settings because if you don't do that you will get some random reboots it also has the gesture navigation option and there is some customization here as you can see here so that's pretty cool and it works out pretty well but you have to use the supported launcher for that Nova launcher is a bit weird with Android 10 gestures and you also have smart pixels gaming mode and they works quite nicely and you also have signature spoofing here so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos and under the display options you will have some styling options here as you can see here they are pretty cool and yeah here you have several clock options here are quite a few new ones that i hadn't seen in other rooms and they look pretty cool and they will also be implemented on the lock screen and aod both and you can even create your custom style and battery life has been pretty great here with Helma kernel no issues there and performance as always with android 10 rooms is pretty awesome thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video